Let's talk about the seven sneaky viral strategies. Now, these viruses are very, very devious. And a virus is much smaller than a bacteria. Now, are they alive? Not really. Are they dead? Not really. It's one of those things where you have this, this little sack with this tiny little copy machine in here. It's like a genetic copy machine that has the ability to copy itself over and over and over. But it can only do that if it invades your cells into the nucleus of the cell and then leach onto it, suck the life out of your cell and then replicate that way. Certain cells that don't have the DNA, they can't really do anything like your red blood cells, for example. So that's what they do. And uh, they start reproducing and create a lot of damage within your immune system because your immune system uh, sees this foreign invader now and it creates inflammation and it starts to uh, create collateral damage. All right, so number one, viruses can infect your own immune cells, the B and T cells, the monocytes, and even your thymus and viral specific T cells. The thymus is right above the heart and it's a gland that helps. It's like the training uh, camp for your white blood cells. So it trains your white blood cells to defend uh, against pathogens. So these little guys can invade the thymus and other uh, immune cells. Now what happens now is that virus kind of becomes part of your cell and it's viewed as your own cell by your own immune system. So that's one sneaky way it goes underneath the radar and it doesn't get detected. All right, number four, viruses have the ability to escape antibody response. So think about this, a virus, the shell of a virus has a little protein on it and it's like a little flag that your immune system can see and tag and go after, right? Well, these little special proteins or little flags can be hidden by the virus. So our own immune system cannot find them. And so you have this delayed immune response until after the infection has set in. Very, very sneaky. All right, here's another scenario. Number five, you can have two viruses invade one cell. And then what they do is they work together to rearrange those proteins on the outside of the cell so they can escape um, attack from our own immune system. All right, number six, escaping what's called cytokines, which are signaling molecules for the immune system. They're involved in inflammatory responses and viruses can sometimes escape these little guys right here. So there's no inflammation. There's nothing for your immune system to indicate that there's a virus there. All right, number seven, certain viruses can downgrade vitamin D receptors. What does that mean? It means that it blocks your ability to absorb vitamin D. And vitamin D is intimately involved in controlling your immune system. So without vitamin D, you're gonna be more susceptible to viruses and you don't have that protection anymore. So viruses have one strategy of suppressing the immune system by blocking vitamin D. This is why you see so many diseases involved with an associated low vitamin D condition. Well, that's probably because there's a virus involved in that disease. And if you haven't seen my video on how to bulletproof your immune system, I put it up right here. Check it out. Before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today. Hey, before